How's everybody doing? If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I go through a lot of guitar strings, not necessarily by breaking them, but by the fact that they rust out very often for me, just something to do with the sweat of my hands or the oil of my hands or something just seems to rust through strings all the time. And I've talked about that before in terms of using like a string conditioner or a string cleaner, um, wiping strings down to get them to last longer. So it's an issue that I've been very conscientious of personally. And it's also why I've taken an interest in these. These are Ernie Ball's new Paradigm guitar strings. And with these strings, they claim that they have like a new extrusion process that gets rid of impurities and they have some type of nanotechnology going on with the string. But whatever their reasoning, they say that these strings are going to last for 90 days without breaking or rusting or they'll replace them for free. To be completely honest, I can't imagine that happening. I could see a set of strings lasting maybe twice as long as usual or three times as long as usual if you're really pushing it, but I just can't imagine how they could make a set of strings go for 90 days without rusting. But of course, I have to put that claim to the test. Now, I have no relationship with Ernie Ball whatsoever, so I had to go out and buy the strings. It was like $15 for one pack. And you have to look at it this way, is if I was going to go through, let's say, nine packs of strings in 90 days versus one pack that was $15, well, the nine packs of strings would be like maybe $4 each, so you're looking at $45 versus $15. You're still going to come out ahead if their claim is true that they last for 90 days. And while I can't imagine that happening, I do have some kind of hope that it would happen because that would be very convenient and it would actually be more cost effective over the long run. Now I think their goal with these is to be able to provide a guitar string that has superior durability but gives you a similar tone and feel to their standard guitar strings that most people are probably used to. So the point of comparison for me would be a set of Ernie Ball regular slinky 10 to 46 guitar strings and therefore I got 10 to 46 Paradigm to compare. So I strung up one guitar with these which is my main Les Paul that I practice with primarily and I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna see how long the strings will last without rusting I'm going to see how long they'll last without breaking, obviously, although I don't really expect them to break. And I'm also going to be paying attention to how long the tone of the string lasts, because another thing with guitar strings, separately from rusting or breaking, is they'll get overstretched over time of bending and retuning over and over, where they start to lose their tone, they start to sound kind of dull or round. And if you're going to have strings on your guitar for 90 days, you don't want that to happen either, obviously. So starting this past week, I strung my guitar up with these strings and I will be testing out their claims that the strings will last for 90 days. Now since I just put these strings on this week, I can't give you a very in-depth or long-term review in this video, but I will in a future video and I'll also give you updates and maybe some tone comparisons along the way. But since I just put these strings on my guitar, what I can tell you is my first impression. And my first impression of these strings is that they feel a little bit higher quality than regular slinky guitar strings, which you would expect based on their improvements that they say that they've made. And by feel higher quality, I mean that they feel almost a little bit harder or a little bit sharper than a regular guitar string to your finger, which you might think, oh, that's a bad thing, but actually that's just really the price you pay for having a stronger string. So that's totally to be expected, but they largely feel similar to regular slinkies, if not a little bit sharper to the touch. And tonally speaking, they sound similar to regular slinkies, if not a little bit brighter sounding, which you would also expect if they have a more pure way of manufacturing the steel, is that it would sound stronger or brighter or it would resonate better, thus giving you more highs, thus making it sound a little bit brighter. So it sounds and feels what I would expect an upgraded version of an Ernie Ball slinky string would sound and feel like. Which is not exactly the same, but is a slight improvement in both ways. And I did notice on their website that they said that they have some nanotechnology that they apply to the string, which sounds like it could be a coating, although they are adamant that it does not have a thick coating like a regular coated string would have to last a long time. 
and I can tell you that they do not feel like they have a coating on them. So they don't feel like they have any sort of thick coating. So in that respect, they've done their job. Whatever that nano application is, it doesn't really affect the feel to a noticeable degree. So those are my first impressions. Like I said, I can't imagine that a set of strings will last for 90 days without rusting, but I'm hopeful that they will. And in addition to regular videos over the course of the next few months, I will probably do a few videos just giving you guys updates on how the strings are holding up over time to see if they're really resisting rusting or anything. And since I have them on, I'll probably do a tone comparison between those and regular slinkies, or maybe even between those and NYXLs. Just something that might be interesting to do. I'll probably do that in the near future because I think it would be interesting to hear the difference. Just as a side note, Ernie Ball has another line of strings between regular Slinky and Paradigm called Cobalt, and those came out a little while ago. And I've tried those before, and I was basically appalled by them. In comparison to regular Slinky, I found the Cobalts to be a little brighter sounding, but they smelled very weird. They had a very strong smell that you could smell when you were playing, and you can smell it on your hand when you're done and they rusted out, I'm not exaggerating, and within a couple of days to the point where they were covered with thick orange rust and it wasn't even a question as to whether or not the entire length of the string was rusted out. And when I used those, I thought, ah, maybe I got a bad set, maybe it was exposed to humidity that it shouldn't have been. So I got another set and they did the exact same thing. So I was basically hugely disappointed with the Ernie Ball Cobalts in fact, I much prefer the regular slinky strings, which are significantly cheaper than those. But I'm hoping that Ernie Ball has finally figured it out with these, um, because the Cobalts were really disappointing for me. The regular slinkies are kind of the standard string that I use, but I would like to see them have an entrant into the high-end string world, where currently I would say the best string you can get over $10 a set would be Diodario NYXLs, whereas Ernie Ball, they really have no response to that as of yet. So like I said, we're going to see. I'm halfway skeptical and halfway hopeful for these, and I will let you guys know how they progress over the course of the 90-day period. And if you want to see how they're progressing from my perspective, subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. I post anything from original music to jam session videos to product reviews, um, just my opinions, my experiences, how-to videos. If you're into guitar, if you're into music, or if you just think I'm cute, it's probably worth subscribing. <laughs> See you guys next week.